Zali Kubis, what's the latest where you are? Well, I'm just outside the Royal Palace and you can probably hear the Royal Guards performing uh, music as the delegations have arrived. Actually, the French President Emmanuel Macron and His Majesty King uh, Mohammed VI of Morocco just behind me along the red carpet saluting the various members of the delegations. You've got the Moroccan government, you've got the diplomats, and then you've got the French uh, delegation. It's an important moment, of course, of this uh, state visit. And in such visits, of course, symbols matter. And when the French president and the first lady, Brigitte Macron, arrived at the Rabat airport, they were welcomed by uh, the, His Majesty uh, King Mohammed VI in uh, person. You had the Marseillaise, the French anthem that was played, and then, of course, the Moroccan uh, hymn anthem. And now, in a few minutes, you will have uh, an important meeting face-to-face -face behind closed doors between uh, the French president and King Mohammed VI. Surely a way, a moment to possibly clarify some disagreements, try to put tensions behind the two men and look towards the future. Because uh, Rabat has said there's a common desire, will, to improve relations. Of course, this in a context of long-standing friendship between uh, these two allies. In a few words on what's going on here, on my right, on the side, you've got various members of the delegations, uh, French ministers standing up, of course, to pay their respect for this moment for uh, King Mohammed VI. And also, as the uh, two men came here to the Royal Palace, they were, of course, drive, driven uh, through the streets of Rabat. Thousands, if not tens of thousands of Moroccan people on the streets in a very festive atmosphere, a lot of music. Uh, Moroccans there to see the two men, the French president, but also their king, of course, Mohammed uh, VI. And it was a very festive atmosphere, a lot of uh, French and Moroccan uh, flags. And tonight there will also be a ceremony with some deals signed, announced. We don't know exactly which deals yet. We don't know if there will be a major business deals announced, but we know, according to the Elysee Palace, that there will be deals announced in terms of education, but also environmental uh, deals as well as security ones. Yeah, so some business deals and also um, something of a pivot. It's always a balancing act for a French president. Morocco and neighboring Algeria are rivals. Uh, it's the first visit by Macron to Morocco in six years for a long while. Um, he seemed to try to make friends with both. Is that over? It's exactly that, François. Uh, pre French President Emmanuel Macron uh, trying to uh, be friends with Algeria as well as Morocco, uh, cultivate some kind of friendship with those two uh, countries who've got a long-standing history, of course, uh, with uh, France, and that was uh, taken rather badly here in Morocco. Of course, because of the issue of Western Sahara, this um, disputed uh, territory. Uh, but recently, uh, this summer, the French president wrote a letter to uh, King Mohammed VI saying that he believed Western Sahara was part of Moroccan sovereignty. And that, of course, pleased Rabat and also the Moroccans we've been speaking to here on the streets of the capital tell us, telling us uh, Sahara, Western Sahara was very much part of Moroccan territory and it was essential for France to recognize that and possibly do even more, maybe send diplomats uh, in that area and publicly state, make more statements regarding that issue. So between France and Morocco now, uh, warming up of relations, of course, reconciliation, some are calling this uh, trip. And uh, we can't also uh, forget that there are very strong uh, economic business ties between France and Morocco. I'm not going to give you too many figures, but France is the number one investor here in Morocco and Morocco, the number one African investor in France. There are a thousand French companies here in Morocco, and that represents 150,000 jobs. So a lot of issues there. Uh, business mm. deals could be announced during this trip. We'll have to wait and see if it's tonight or tomorrow. One last word. Many, many uh, CEOs, business leaders in the uh, French delegation, notably from LVMH, Total Veolia, just to name a few.